visiting has been a long-standing tradition in community health nursing. Although community health nurses provide services in many settings in the community, providing services to families and individuals in their homes is a critical component of the nurse's role in health promotion and disease prevention. There are a number of advantages to visiting clients in their home. For example, individuals and families may feel more comfortable with the nurse visiting their home and therefore may be more open to exploring health issues and concerns with the nurse. Also, more family members are likely to be present in the home than in the clinic setting, so the nurse has the opportunity to observe family interaction. And observation of the home environment can also be invaluable in helping the nurse to provide pertinent interventions. In this video program, we will examine the practice of home visiting through the eyes of two community health nurses, Anita, a public health nurse, and Darlene, a home care nurse. Their clinical examples and their perspectives should shed further light on the processes and issues involved in home visiting, a part of the everyday work of these nurses. Basically, uh, the clients that we visit first would be our prenatal clients. These are usually moms who are um, of lower socioeconomic status, um, who need early intervention uh, with a public health nurse with prenatal teaching. We also do home visits with postnatal moms, so they would be referrals that we received um, from the Women's Health Center uh, that we would do home visits. And then we also follow our clients on the Long-Term Healthy Beginnings Program, and these are children that we would follow um, from birth to school age. The kind of clients we usually see are uh, a large majority are surgical patients. I would say about 75% are surgical patients. We also see people who are looking for a variety of different assessments. So they may be looking for home care, um, maybe looking for nursing home placement. They may be looking for uh, respite care um, for a various amount of time. We also see people um, for different types of care, like wound care. I've often received a postnatal referral, for example, and there's been no issues identified from the hospital. And there may not be any issue, issues that are you know, directly linked to the birth of the baby, um, but when you get into the home and you, you know, see the family dynamics and you're interacting with the family, you may see, for example, that it's a single mom who really doesn't have any support system around her. And, uh, you know, that would tell you that you need to go back and take four visits. As you can see, home visits are made to clients in a variety of contexts. Although in each context the nurse's role may be different, the process of the home visit remains essentially the same. Let's start with how the need for a home visit comes to the attention of the nurse. And the need for a home visit would come to our attention for prenatal clients through uh, family doctors. A family doctor may see a mom prenatally. She may be a teen mom. Um, she may be a mom with blood pressure issues and the family doctor will contact uh, the, post the public health nurse for that area to go out and see that mom. We get a lot of referrals from the Mother Baby Nutrition Supplement Program, which is a government funded program and uh, we get referrals from them and then that will indicate to us that this is a mom who uh, does have need for a public health nurse to go out and provide uh, prenatal education and support and possibly link to other um, programs within the community like our healthy baby clubs. Usually the large percentage of our referrals come from the hospital, about 90% I would say. We also get referrals from other professionals that we work with um, internally. We also get referrals from family doctors in the community. Um, we also get referrals from um, the clients themselves. They could identify a need or a family member and they can call in to community health and say, you know, they're looking for a professional to come out and make a visit. Once the nurse becomes aware that a home visit is needed, either through self-referral, a referral from others, or through case-finding activities on the part of the nurse, the pre-visit phase of home visiting begins. Through a review of the referral, the nurse may make initial hypotheses about the client's situation and what nursing needs might be present. She may consider what questions she will ask the client. She may consult with others, such as a referring physician or another nurse. She may refer to literature resources about a particular issue. 
Perhaps some equipment or education materials will need to be gathered. In essence, in the pre-visit phase, the nurse is preparing practically as well as conceptually for the home visit. It is important to note that part of this preparation may involve some self-reflection on the part of the nurse. For example, if the referral involves child protection issues or palliative care issues, the nurse may need to reflect on her own feelings about these particular circumstances. An important part of the pre-visit phase is the first contact with the client. Mary Bird, a nurse educator, considers contacting to be a distinct phase of home visiting, involving telephone strategies to build rapport and to convey the purpose of the visit. The actual going to the client's home is also seen as a second distinct phase by Bird. How the initial contact is conducted will pave the way for successive phases of the home visit. Well, when we do receive a referral and then we would contact uh, the client, um, we contact them first by telephone and um, really we first identify ourselves as a public health nurse and what our role is with the family. Uh, we do explain to them that uh, our service is voluntary but that we're very much there in a supportive role for the family and child and that we'd like to come out and visit to be available to answer any questions, to link them to appropriate resources and you know really that we're there in an empowering role for people and a supportive role. In actually going to see the client, the nurse can conduct a windshield survey, gathering information about the neighborhood where the client lives. She can also be mentally preparing for the visit. We do sort of uh, have to be very aware of the environment and the safety. Um, there are areas where, um, you know, a lot of people may be populating and uh, you may be fearful to visit by yourself. That really doesn't happen a lot with us, but if it would, we would take another uh, nurse with us or sometimes we're involved with social workers and we would go with a social worker if it's been determined that there may be a, a person of risk in the home. The entry phase of home visiting, where the nurse not only gains entry into the client's home, but also the client's situation, has been generally considered to be the work of home visiting, critical to any successful interventions. It can sometimes be quite challenging just to gain entry into the home. In, in the case where we, we cannot reach the person by phone, we will, many times I've gone out and just seen a person at home, um, gone to their door, which I don't like to do because it kind of puts the person on, on off guard. Sometimes it may be even difficult, uh, a lot of the buildings we go to are security buildings and if the person doesn't have a, a, you know, a functioning phone, it's very hard to get in. So we, we, we use a lot of ways to get in, friends, family, neighbours and um, Sometimes that's half the battle is getting the actual person at home. Oftentimes I feel like I have to be a bit of a private investigator uh, when it comes to some families. Um, some of our families are very transient and move a lot and not always let us know when that happens. Uh, so oftentimes it means uh, sending letters to the home if you're not able to contact them over the telephone, calling 411. Uh, maybe contacting their family doctor to see if uh, they visited recently or if the family doctor is aware that they've moved. Many factors may impact on gaining access. For example, whether the client actually desires a visit, whether the client values health, what past experiences the client has had with health professionals, whether the visit is voluntary or mandatory, and so on. In the seeing phase, which is part of the entry phase, the nurse interacts with the client, increasing her awareness of the individual or family's life situation. What does the nurse do to facilitate gaining entry into the client's situation? We first need to be show them that we are very genuinely concerned about them as a family and about their child, and you know that we're we're coming from a caring point of 